10 extinct animals that could be brought back. We've all seen Jurassic Park. Well, at least the first one. And the concept presented in that movie is a pretty interesting one. Bringing back extinct dinosaurs that roamed the Earth millions of years ago and making them rejoin the wildlife of today is both a marvelous thought, but also a scary one. Some of these animals died off to make room for humans to take their place. And it's often a controversial thought if some of these behemoths should be brought back at all. But if we give that experiment a go, there are a few of these prehistoric animals that have a better chance of remaining alive if they're brought back. So here are 10 extinct animals that could be brought back and adjusted to modern day life. Number 10, Dodo. The dodo was a pretty peculiar bird and it's first up on our list. It's like the poster child for extinction, you know? So bringing back this creature would be quite a feat. But hey, let's dive into it. To bring back the dodo, scientists would need some dodo DNA. And lucky for us, we've got some preserved bits and pieces. They could extract DNA from those and combine it with the DNA of its closest living relative, the Nicobar pigeon. And through a process called genetic engineering and cloning, they might be able to create a dodo-like bird. This is the same for all the animals that are up next on the list. Now, here's where things get interesting. If a dodo were to strut back into the modern world, it would definitely need some adjustments. The dodo would need to adapt to a changed environment. Their original habitat has been altered severely, and they would have to cope with human development and other creatures that now inhabit the island. It might take some time for them to find their groove and figure out how to navigate the modern world, but we believe they're up to the task. Number 9. Passenger Pigeon Next up is the Passenger Pigeon a true icon of the avian world. Now, if we were to bring back these charismatic birds from the depths of extinction, it would be quite a spectacle. So let's explore how it could be done and how these pigeons would adjust to the modern world. Well, to resurrect the passenger pigeon, scientists would be using methods that I won't bore you with. And if they do, they could potentially create a bird that closely resembles the original passenger pigeon. Now, once these feathered time travelers make their way back, they have some adapting to do. Back in the day, these pigeons flew around in massive flocks, darkening the skies with their sheer numbers. So to adjust to the modern world, the passenger pigeons would need to find suitable nesting and foraging areas. It might feel like an impossible task, but hey, there are other bird species doing it. Number eight, Tasmanian Tiger Ah, the Tasmanian Tiger, or thylacine as it's also known. This unique marsupial was hunted to extinction in the early 20th century. But what if we could bring it back? Let's explore how the Tasmanian Tiger might adjust to life in the modern world. Once the Tasmanian Tiger returns, it would need to adapt to a world that's vastly different from the one it once inhabited. Its original habitat has been altered, and it would have to contend with human development and other species that now inhabit the area. The Tasmanian tiger was a solitary animal that lived in a specific ecological niche, and the world has changed a lot in that time. It'll have to find a different food source than what it was eating when it was originally alive, but we think it could be brought back. Number 7. Quagga Next up, let's talk about the quagga. And just like the rest of the animals on the list, using fancy genetic engineering, scientists could recreate a quagga-ish zebra. But hold up, once these stripy fellas hit the scene, they'd face a whole new world. The grasslands they used to call home aren't the same anymore. It's like a remix of their old habitat. They'd have to adapt to new food sources find the right spots to graze, and deal with different animal crews around them. Imagine their reaction to all the modern-day critters. 
Lions, hyenas, and other beasts they never had to deal with back in the day. But hey, bringing back the quagga would be a chance to restore a piece of our natural heritage, and we think it's worth it. Number 6. Woolly Rhino Bringing back the woolly rhino would unleash a beast perfectly adapted for a world that could use some prehistoric flair. So let's talk about it on the number 6 spot. These magnificent creatures were built to thrive in challenging environments, and they might surprise us with their ability to excel in the new world. With their thick, shaggy fur, the woolly rhinos would be equipped to handle colder regions, even if not as frigid as the Ice Age. Their furry armor would provide insulation and protection against harsh weather conditions. Speaking of conditions, the reintroduction of woolly rhinos might have a cascading effect on the environment. They could serve as ecosystem engineers, impacting vegetation structure and distribution, which in turn could benefit other animals depending on those habitats. Number 5. Carolina Parakeet Bringing back the Carolina parakeet would unleash a burst of vibrant colors and lively personalities into our modern landscapes. One of the key strengths of the Carolina parakeet lies in its adaptability. These birds were known to inhabit a variety of habitats, from forests to swamps, making them highly versatile in their ecological preferences. This adaptability would allow them to explore and find suitable niches in the modern environment. The Carolina parakeet's bright plumage and distinct calls would make it a sight to behold and a joy to encounter. Its vibrant colors could bring a renewed sense of beauty to our urban and natural spaces, captivating the hearts of bird enthusiasts and sparking an appreciation for avian diversity. Furthermore, the Carolina parakeet's diet primarily consisted of fruit, seeds, and nuts. This makes them effective seed dispersers playing a vital role in the ecosystem by helping to regenerate plant populations and promote biodiversity. Number 4. Great Auk Up next is the Great Auk. Bringing back the Great Auk would be like welcoming a true oceanic pioneer into our modern realm. These flightless birds were perfectly adapted to marine life, and their return could have some remarkable implications. The great auk's primary strength lies in its aquatic prowess. With its streamlined body and powerful flippers, it was built for life in the ocean. The ability to dive deep and swim with agility would allow it to navigate and forage in diverse marine environments, contributing to the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Also, the great auk's diet consisted mainly of fish, making it a valuable player in marine food webs. Its presence could help regulate fish populations, maintain ecological equilibrium, and promote healthy oceanic ecosystems. Number 3. Sabertooth Cat Bringing back the Sabertooth Cat would unleash a fearsome and awe-inspiring predator into the modern world. So let's talk about it next. These iconic felines were well equipped for their hunting prowess, and their return could have some intriguing implications. One of the key strengths of the saber-tooth cat lies in its unique set of hunting adaptations. With their impressive canine teeth, these cats were designed for taking down large prey. In the modern world where some ecosystems face imbalances due to changes in predator-prey dynamics, the saber-toothed cat could play a crucial role in regulating populations and restoring natural equilibrium. Additionally, their muscular build and agility would make them formidable predators in various habitats. Whether stalking through grasslands, prowling in forests, or even navigating rugged terrain, these cats would display an unmatched grace and power. Number 2. Irish Elk Bringing back the Irish elk, also known as the giant deer, would introduce a majestic herbivore with impressive antlers into the modern realm. These massive creatures would have some remarkable qualities to offer. One of the key strengths of the Irish elk lies in its striking antlers, and we think they'll play a crucial role if they're reintroduced to the world. 
These elaborately branched structures were the largest of any known deer species, spanning up to 12 feet (3.6 meters) across. Their antlers likely played a role in attracting mates and establishing dominance within their social groups. So, in the modern world, their grand antlers would serve as a visual spectacle, captivating the imaginations of nature enthusiasts and sparking admiration for the diversity of life. Number one, ibex. Bringing back the Pyrenean ibex, also known as the bucardo would offer a remarkable opportunity to revive an extinct species and witness its potential in the modern era. These mountain-dwelling goats had some unique characteristics that could contribute to their success. One of the key strengths of the Pyrenean ibex lies in its adaptability to rugged terrains. These nimble climbers were perfectly suited to traversing steep slopes and rocky landscapes. In the modern world, their agility and sure-footedness could allow them to explore and inhabit mountainous regions, promoting ecological balance and biodiversity in these challenging environments. Also, by bringing back the Pyrenean ibex, genetic diversity within the species could be increased. This could have positive effects for the overall health and adaptability of the population, enabling them to better withstand potential threats such as diseases or changing environmental conditions. So, that's our list. We hope you learned a little bit more about some of the extinct animals that were once kings and queens back in the day. Maybe with a little bit of scientific magic, we might be able to bring them back and reintroduce them to the world. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.